Hi again. Uh, this is my uh, week 10 recap. And, uh, you know, again, I'll, I'll just go through everything pretty quickly. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of success this week, um, to be honest, I, which was a little disappointing after the way I ended the, the last week. I was, you know, right, right spot on. Um, but I guess it's kind of like, uh, you know, <laughs> You know, just learning how to, you know, hit a baseball and you finally hit one. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're an expert now. I mean, every <laughs> you still, you know, got to learn some form and, you know, whatnot. So um, on June, uh, January um, 31st, um, you know, I, I visualized a you know, patient with, you know, right arm area, you know, it was real vague the way I got the answer. It wasn't as like real specific like the way I ended the previous week with. And that was incorrect. Uh, February 1st, I, I visualized left hand. That was incorrect. Uh, Feb February 2nd, uh, left knee or leg area. And that may have been partially correct. And this is where I, I started to realize the... Um, uh, the limits of my experiment and um, uh, the problem was that the patient was coming in oh I, I think we were doing the person's lower back or something um, and um, but uh, I had previously scanned his right leg and he had a cast on or something on around his ankle or something like that and uh, anyway he was telling me that his left leg was just killing him now even though it was you know the right right leg that he had the surgery on and I had scanned previously so that's why I say it may have been partially correct but I wasn't really seeing the patient for that and so then that's when I I decided I'm going to have to fine tune my intent because it's like typing in a search engine, um, you know, and just typing in anything, you know, like love. Well, you know, if you type something in that vague, you're going to get a whole slew of answers and not all of them are going to be <laughs> what you really intend them uh, to be. So you really got to fine tune your intent. So, um, so I had to modify my experiment again here and so now I'm trying to specify the exam that I'm doing and so that is I'm adding that into my intent that um, uh, allow me to see what I'm going to scan on this person you know versus you know what is the health of the person because they could be coming in and I could be scanning something uh, but that's not really what is causing their problem or maybe they have multiple problems and so you're seeing something and maybe it's correct and you know you're still you're still not getting anywhere you know it's still difficult to you know find out whether you're doing it correctly or not so that was at least a learning experience for me um, for me to work on that so uh, I only had two days to do that because of course the next day was was Friday February 3rd I visualized I don't know why it was it's just so, so vague sometimes I get it real specific and then sometimes it's just like real vague I, I mean I felt like somebody was putting on a ch uh, like a vest I don't know why I was getting it that way but I just I just wrote down chest area it was incorrect um, <clears throat> Uh, February 4th and 5th, you know, the Saturday and Sunday, I didn't really have much going on except for the fact that uh, on Saturday, uh, the fight between Nick Diaz and Carlos Condit did go exactly how I had foreseen in my dream, which I mentioned uh, on my week 8, uh, at the end of the week 8 uh, results. It was, I, it was, so that was pretty cool because I've never actually videotaped um, a precognitive dream that I've had and then had it come true. Again, uh, and I'll, I'll go over this in just a, a few seconds, it still doesn't go beyond um, the psi uncertainty principle. I mean, it's not like 
um, so out there that um, that uh, there's no doubt about it that I was in this uh, uh, probable uh, the future probable reality but for myself since I've done it many times um, I kind of knew I was there that's why I even mentioned it on there I was like I felt like I was there um, and that's all I can go by is just what I feel like um, sixth uh, on the sixth was um, I visualized like you know again real vague nothing specific like the head area was kind of fuzzy or something so I said well you know maybe I'm doing a brain or on the person or something like that it was incorrect it was in the lower back so so um, that was it that was pretty much it for um, everything I did and um, so I was just gonna talk a little bit about the you know sign uncertainty principle because of you know again uh, my precognitive dream that I, I, I did could correct uh, um, and the way that Thomas Campbell uh, explains it is that um, you could never and this is why I don't expect to have anything you know uh, to be so out there that it, um, <clears throat> that it will convince everyone out there that what I'm doing is um, uh, that I'm really going beyond the outs outskirts of myself I guess but the only way that you know but I'll be able to know and that's where uh, the science certainty principle is that you can kinda uh, you can do incredible things um, through like paranormal abilities but if you're gonna do like what they were termed like a miracle or anything you can never do something that somebody outside can't have a certain amount of doubt into you can't like uh, kind of force them uh, into a, a place that they're not ready for I guess is you know because that kind of contaminates the um, the learning lab everybody's at different levels and for some people you know uh, doing some paranormal activity is is still you know it is very much right on level with um, their belief system and other people they're way at a point where it's not and so you can't do something that it, that will convince them uh, so if you're gonna do something you know it can't be like on camera it can't be do something like that it's got to be maybe word of mouth or um, something along those lines uh, at least until the level of consciousness of the, the general population from what I can gather raises as the general consciousness level of the of everyone raises then more psi abilities are available now so uh, but there always has to be that certain amount of uncertainty based upon the whole of the learning lab and again I, I, I go back to you can have a small group you know and they're all on the same level and they could be doing incredible things you know and um, so that's kind of where I was getting at that and for me um, you know again I, 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 I found that really really cool that I was able to uh, get it on camera and then you know for for me definitively proof for myself that you know all these things that have been saying on, on several earlier videos and stuff I mean um, I guess it just it's, it's just nice to have something as, as um, kind of verification even though I, I, I even I had one earlier uh, but I had said it after the fact and you could always kind of go back and say, oh, well, you know, he made that up, you know. But this one, I really put myself out there and just said, you know, this is what I saw and that's it. And, um, yeah, and it came true and exactly how I, I said it was. So it's pretty pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, that's pretty much about it. So, uh, again, I'll, I'll talk with everybody later. Take care.